to Sweets Live, the pregame show. It's our final Sweets Live, the pregame show of the 2024 season. A little bittersweet here. We made it through 2024, but sad that it is the last one. Hey, well, let's take a look back at last night. Unfortunately, as the streak came to an end for the Walla Walla Sweets, their winning streak ends at four games. Could not get number five, which would have been the longest streak in the 2020s, but they put up a valiant effort. It was scoreless through the first three innings, but then Ridgefield really opened up the game, bringing home six runs in the top of the fourth, a lead they would never let go. But the Sweets had a good effort. In the bottom of the sixth, they scored two runs and had the bases loaded, putting the tying run at the plate. But Ridgefield went to the bullpen and got two strikeouts to end that frame and strand three on. The Sweets would get another chance in the bottom of the ninth. Now down seven to two, they needed five, and they got three runs in with only two outs on the board. It was an exciting comeback rally. Joel Esparza bringing in that fifth run with an RBI single. That put him at first to represent the tying run and the go-ahead game-winning run was at the plate and Mason Millar at the plate. Again, Ridgefield went to the bullpen and again it worked for the Raptors as a ground out end of the game. A very, very tight call there at first base. Probably could have gone either way, but this time it went the Raptors way and ended the comeback short for the Sweets as they fell 7-5. The loss evens the series up at one game apiece between the Raptors and the Sweets, and we will have a rubber match here in the season finale here at Borleski Stadium. Looking forward to that as Walla Walla looks to win their sixth series of the season and end this year on a high note. Walla Walla is 8-5 and five in season finales, including a two-game winning streak. They beat Portland last year 6-2, here at Borleski Stadium, and then on the road, they beat the Apple Sox 7-5. So looking forward to seeing if they can keep that streak going here tonight. Hey, we'll take a break. When we come back, we're chatting with manager Jared Molna. Don't go anywhere. You're watching Speeds Live, the pregame show. Hey, your homework done? Yep. Mm. Hey, is your homework done? This kind of is homework. So, what do you think? Uh, I'm so proud of you. Can I play some more? Is all your work done? Washington's Lottery is a proud partner in the goal to promote college and career training. Each time you play, you're helping students statewide. Welcome back into Sweets Live, the pregame show. Now joined here with manager Jared Molna and coach. So close to getting that comeback going last night. Had the tying run at first, the bottom of the ninth. What'd you like from the resilience in your guys? Yeah, you know, obviously it came down to a big five-run inning there in the fourth. So I just thought that we played a lot of good baseball last night. You know, um, pitchers giving us a chance in those other seven innings of defense and keep giving us a chance to fight back in that game. So um, it would have been really easy, especially being it late in the season, um, two games left to go. It would have been real easy to roll over there down 5 nothing. But our guys just kind of stuck to the process, kept getting off good at-bats. And, uh, yeah, it was something at the bare minimum, something for us to ride into the early part of today with uh but yeah great fight from the guys last night season finale here tonight lots of festivities going outside the game the host families are getting a special gift from the players we got fireworks fans are getting bobbleheads so much going around here today how do you stay focused and just worry about the game yeah, you just got to understand it kind of comes with the territory. Um, it's not something that any of these guys haven't been through, at least the vast majority of them. Um, so you got to do what you got to do in terms of honoring uh, the village, if you will, that makes this whole thing happen because it definitely wouldn't happen without those people behind the scenes uh, hosting our guys and taking care of them all summer. Uh, but at the end of the day, the baseball game's the same when it gets to 7.05. So um, it's just... Uh, like I said, kind of the nature of the beast for these guys to have to handle that, uh, let a distraction go, and just kind of get back to business. All right, final question for you. How are you feeling entering this season finale? Year two under the belt for you here with the Sweets. 
Yeah, it feels crazy. I mean, to be honest with you, it just feels, I mean, I've said it a couple of times, but it doesn't feel like it was that long ago when we were getting on the first uh, first road trip and get things going. So it's just kind of surreal for it to be the end of season two here. i um, incredibly grateful for another season here in Walla Walla. I'm blessed to get to stay here and be doing baseball all year in, uh, in my second home and real close to my first one. So uh, yeah, just incredibly thankful and grateful for the opportunity to do this for another summer. All right. Well, Coach, thank you so much for joining us here on the pregame show, not just today, but all summer long. I've really enjoyed chatting with you here in these pregame shows before games. Appreciate you too, Coop. Thank you, man. All right. Well, thank you. Hey, we're going to take another break. Don't go anywhere. You're watching Sweets Live, the pregame show. Walla Walla Valley Honda is now underwriter Honda of Walla Walla. The same great automotive family is here for all your needs. Service, parts, new Hondas, and top quality used vehicles all backed by expert staff with the highest standards in the industry. After all, your family at Underwriter Honda of Walla Walla and deserve the best. Visit us at UnderwriterHondaOfWallaWalla.com to schedule service or a test drive today. Underwriter Honda of Walla Walla. Walk in as a guest, drive off as family. Hey, welcome back into Sweet Slot of the pregame show. Well, throughout the season, I've talked to one or two players, usually individually, here on the pregame show. But today, because it's our last pregame show, they all wanted to come out and say hi and thank you to you on the pregame show. So here is the 2024 Walla Walla Sweets. Thank you, Sweets Country. Thank you to my mom and dad and my brother for supporting me the whole way. Uh, thank you for Joey Winters for annoying me all summer. And uh, yeah, I'm super excited to finish out the season and uh, hopefully get a win tonight. I mean, I've only been here for a short amount of time, about two and a half weeks, but I want to thank Sweet Country for welcoming me like a like from a hometown kid here in Walla Walla. Just a kid from Compton, California, having fun out here in Washington. Uh, it was truly a blessing. Uh, the relationships I built here, especially with the uh, players and the fans, um, it's just been a heck of a ride, a bunch of fun with a bunch of dudes trying to be guys. Um, yeah, this season's been fun. Got to meet a lot of cool dudes here. A lot of competitors, got to learn a lot from these guys. Um, had a blast out here. Walla Walla accepted me pretty well, so very thankful for the opportunity. Thank you Walla Walla for hosting me, and this is obviously a really fun season, and it was great, the fans, and it was a great time being in this environment, traveling, experience a new level of baseball, so thank you. Just want to thank my parents and uh, the rest of my family for supporting me throughout this entire summer, helping me out, and uh, just glad to be able to get this opportunity to play out here in Walla Walla. So appreciate everything with the sweets and everyone, all the interns and everything. Thank you. What's up, Sweets Country? Uh, I'd like to thank the fans for a great year, and uh, I'd like to thank my incredible teammates. And uh, yeah, just met some great guys this summer, and thank you, Sweets. Thank you, Sweets fans, for a great summer. Thank you, Sarah and Joe, for letting me stay. And Let's have a good night. Hello, Sweets fans. Uh, <laughs> thank you for coming out and uh, supporting us throughout this whole year. Even though I came late, it was uh, a hell of a ride, and uh, thank you for a great season. Sweets fans, thank you for being so welcoming and for supporting us every game. So thank you for a great season. Uh, thank you, Sweets fans. Thank you, women, for letting us use your facilities. Thank the host families for hosting the players. And a uh, really great environment, and I'm going to miss it a lot. Thank you, guys. Hi, my name is uh, Josh Arbo. I just want to say thank you to all of you Sweet fans for supporting us through our ups and downs and um, just coming out and expressing your love towards the game that we all um, just come here to enjoy. And also, uh, I love you, Dad. I just want to say thank you to all the fans out here in Walla Walla. Thank you for another amazing summer. I know everybody here on the staff and everybody that contributed with this summer. Really just a great thank you to everybody, how special you guys made this year. And yeah, hopefully we can go out here tonight and get another win for the Sweets and uh, kind of end our final homestand on a big old victory. So, yeah. just want to say thank you to all the fans who come out. It's a lot of fun to play in front of you guys. Um, obviously, you know, the more people are there, the better the energy and the more kind of exciting the games are. And, uh, it's really just motivating as players when we look up and you see a bunch of fans in the stands that came to watch you. So we just want to say thank you and um, yeah, we really appreciate it. Walla Walla, I just want to say thank you for having me. Uh, I feel like it's been a God blessing that I've been here and just getting better with my team. And I just appreciate all of you fans, you know, like 
feel like everybody out here is giving me the utmost support and I, I just want to give it right back. I'm very grateful for being here and uh, good luck to the future sweets, man. That's all I got to say. Shout out to Scott and Linda. You guys have been great. Uh, thank you for everything you guys have done for me. Thank you, Walla Walla. Stevie Hom is out. Sweets fans, I just want to say thank you. I'm grateful for you guys coming out every day and supporting us. I'm grateful for you, Grandma Carol, for making me food every day and just being the best host possible. So we appreciate all your guys' support and just wish you all the best of luck in the coming years for Sweets. Go Sweets. We just want to say from all of us, thank you to the town for always showing support for us and uh, continuing to show out even throughout the hot summer and whatnot. So thank you to everyone that made this summer possible. I just want to say thank you to everyone for coming out, all the fans, everyone who else, everyone else who made everything possible. I mean, unforgettable summer for me and everyone else around here. So I just want to say thank you for everyone for creating such a good atmosphere. I just want to thank you, say thank you to all the fans. I uh, really appreciate you guys coming to the show, support the summer. Uh, you guys brought great energy, and thank you to all the host families for taking in all the players. Thank you so much. I appreciate all the support we had this summer. I um, appreciate the experience I got to have this summer with the boys and learning more and more every day about baseball. And the fact that I got to be here was a blessing. So I just want to thank everybody who came out, all the friends and family who came to support and appreciate the sweets for their putting us on the whole summer. Appreciate that, Doc. Just want to say thank you to the fans who support this season. Yeah, and thank you to the management and for everyone that helped us out and all of our sponsors. It's been a phenomenal year. Go sweet. Woo! Just want to say thank you for your continuous support uh, coming out every day and, and seeing these crowds. It's, it's been a great part of the summer and just it's been fun playing for the sweets. So thank you. Uh, I want to thank everybody for coming out. It's been a fun summer and uh, go sweets. Hey, my, my name is Ryan Prescott, number 44. I just want to say thank you fans for making this possible for us. Thank you my parents for making me be able to come out here and compete with my fellas. This is Tanner Parker, assistant coach. Been at third base for you, Lou Crew fellas, the whole year. I just want to thank you for a great summer 2024 and looking forward to the next one. Thanks, y'all. Anything else? Yeah, can I get some napkins? Sure. That'll be $1. For a napkin? Ridiculous, right? You know what else doesn't make sense? Some people are still paying for their checking accounts. Some places it's 12 bucks a month. At P1FCU, we believe some things should just be free. Open your Ascend checking with tons of great benefits at p1fcu.org slash free. Hey, welcome back into Sweets Live, the pregame show. Well, now let's take a look at the matchup on the mound. On the mound for the Sweets is Zach Hangus, a right-hander from Missoula, Montana. He'll be a senior at Ottawa University in the fall, coming in with a 3-1 record and a 3-2-1 ERA, making his 10th start of the season, 10th appearance overall. He is an inning away from tying the franchise record for career innings pitch, currently sitting at 115 and two-thirds innings pitch, the record being 116 and two-thirds inning. So with this start today, once he gets through the first, he will tie that record. If he gets an out in the second, boom, the record is his. And we can see how long he'll go after that to extend his lead on the rest of the pitchers here in Sweets history. Last time on the mound was August 2nd against the Cowlitz Black Bears. Tossed seven innings, seven scoreless innings there. Gave up four hits, one walk, six strikeouts. It was a career high in strikeouts for him. And he kind of felt like he might have been able to go more than seven, but they decided to play it safe and let him break the record here tonight rather than August 2nd. On the mound for the Raptors is Jake Swenson, a right-hander from Kamaz, Washington. He will be a sophomore at Linfield College in the fall, coming in with an 0-1 record and a 4.02 ERA, making his fifth start of the season seventh appearance overall. Last time on the mound was August 3rd against the Springfield Drifters. Tossed two innings, did not give up a run. Gave up one hit, no walks, no strikeouts. Just faced seven batters, so relatively quiet two innings in that last appearance against the Drifters for Swenson. 
all about do it for us here on Sweets Live, the pregame show, not just for today, August 8th, but for all season long. And I want to thank everyone who made this pregame show possible, starting with the players and manager Jared Molina. Thank you so much for joining me here on the show all year long. It's been a pleasure to talk with you here in this pregame format. Just get to know you guys throughout the summer and just be a part of this 2024 season. I want to thank you, the fans, for tuning in as well all season long here on the pregame show. And thank you so much for making it part of your day. First pitch for this season finale is set for 7.05 and you can watch it right here on the Sweets Digital Network. Until then, I'm Cooper Husky signing off not just for today but for 2024. This has been Sweets Live, the pregame show.